Thompson. Welcome back to Kick Order Court. Today we got a real legend in the building. Felix, how are you? How are you? For the, for the video, I'm calling you Omar actually, because that's, that, that's a scary show to me. Big fan. Big fan. Call me whatever you want. Big fan. Appreciate it. Hi guys. AKA how you Numa, doing? Uh, Omar Navarro in the building, man. If you know who this man is, you know this Shit. man is. He's chilling today. Chilling. He's scary as hell on TV. Alright? So I'm gonna let y'all know, man. He's chilling yeah. today, though. Before we get in this video, man, let's yes. get a quick drip check. Oh, you know, it was raining yesterday, so I pulled out my winterized red threes. Why not? I live in Levi's jeans. I don't wear anything other than Levi's jeans. And my girl thrifted me this Abercrombie and Fitch. Damn, I grew up on Abercrombie and Fitch. I know. And, Eagle. and she likes chasing them down in the, in the shop, so she got me this. And this is a little trip we did in Morocco. We bought a bunch of stuff in Morocco that came back. So it's like a little Linus blanket. That's crazy. Last it's time you pulled up, we didn't yeah. do a video, but you had some threes on then too. Yes. Are you Jordan 3 your favorite silhouette? It's one of them. It's one of the very few shoes that you take out the box, put on, you feel like I've been wearing them for five years. Wow. They're immediately comfortable to me, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I dig that. I like putting them on and just feeling like I don't got to break them in. I used to wear Doc Martens a lot. Oh, wow. So I had that history of having to break them in and mm -hmm. the blisters and all of that. So it's nice to find a shoe you can just pop on, you know? How many pairs of sneakers so, do you have in your collection? I counted just before I came in because I had a feeling <laughs> that question. I got about a hundred, not a lot in comparison. I got about 150. No, oh, uh, that's a lot. Look, from a lot of the guests we interview, <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah, but you start seeing people who like buy houses with extensions on yeah. them so they can fill it. But no, no, I got about 100, 150. And what's the most you think you ever spent on a pair of shoes? That's a good question. Not much, you know. I, I've struggled a little with the resale and the retail world and figuring out you, everybody pays what they want to pay for a shoe. But I was up there maybe 400. That's not that bad. Yeah. 400 is not bad. Yeah. So let's talk about your career. Obviously, yeah. Ozark, one of the greatest shows of all time. Thank you. You played a major role in that. Outside of that, like the, with your active career, when did you get started? I started as a kid, you know, my mom, she worked three jobs. Mm -hmm. So her third job happened to be between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m., which was when I got out of school. So she was trying to find an after school program she could put me in that was free. Mm -hmm. And it was a theater games and improv school. And, you know, we just had a hung out there. And she was one of the type of people, I mean, she rest in peace, who saw that I had some sort of aptitude for something. And instead of being like, no, you're going to be a doctor, you're going to be a lawyer, you're going to drill something else of security. She was like, he likes expressing himself. Let's keep pushing that. So she encouraged so I started as a little kid. I was doing plays. I played the Coca-Cola can in a recycling play in my high school, and then I just went from there. What was, the, what was your biggest uh, gig before Ozark? Was there anything big, or was Ozark the one that took you to the next level? Oh, see, Ozark, the thing about Netflix, the net, and Netflix is why. Yeah. Past that net. Global. It's global. We were talking about that earlier. Last time, like, right? There's just so many parts of the world that have access to that streaming source and so you get it it's big it's big we're averaging 9.5 million views a day yeah, it's like, wow it's getting to the point where you're like it's interesting so so that's the most seen now for me my favorite my all-star favorite yeah. favorite for me i did the west wing mm. i did an episode of the west wing i had one scene i was on the mall in the west on the west in uh, in washington dc yeah that was my shit like I, I saw it i was and i was acting with alice and janney i'm on the west wing that's crazy <laughs> you, i learned a lot about life watching that show for sure so but that was for me. But yeah, but the Netflix has a... Uh, Nine has million a viewers a day? Huge, like, so that means you probably go anywhere in the world and somebody probably recognizes you. There has been that, yes. I haven't traveled outside the country as much as I wanted to because, of course, the pandemic yeah. hasn't allowed us to. But but once I do, I have a feeling because every time I've been here, when I come into your shop, yeah. I go to places, Vietnam, Saudi Arabia, Dominican Republic, Colombia, wow. just off the top of my head. This that's morning, a guy real. came over to me. He was Bro. German. That's he was crazy. Like, yeah, I'm from Berlin, and I, I watch you. So that's crazy. So what's yeah. next for you for your your career? Like what? what right. 2022. Yeah. What do you got going yeah, on? We're doing uh, doing a spinoff of a great show called The Rookie on ABC. It's called mm. The Rookie Feds. It's on uh, Tuesday nights at nine o'clock. We had our, on a winter break right now. We just had our winter finale, and then we're gonna start again January third on wow. ABC. Yeah. It's The Rookie Feds. It's uh, Nisi Nash. Mm. She's a fantastic comedian. Yeah. And, and, but uh, outside of her other things, she uh, she starts as the quote unquote oldest FBI trainee. That's so crazy. I play uh, a guy who, who runs a unit that brings her on. That's dope. That's dope. Week to week, trying to solve the crime, and it's nice. 
to have a black woman as a lead Not on a sure. national network television show. Yeah. It was really kind of beautiful when I looked at that call sheet. They call it a call sheet when you look and you the see cast the cast and stuff. The cast and the top four actors on the show were that's black dope. and brown, and I was very, very happy about that. No, that's dope. Yeah. So what size shoe do you wear? Me and Drew are gonna take you to the back. Show you some drip. Size ten. Yes. All right, let's take you to the vault right now. Show you some drip. Like I mostly wear high. Classics. Classics. I do. I have. Remember, I got 150 yeah. pairs, so we will be finding things that I already have. That was 133, and the, the, the one that you counted. <laughs> you guarantee it. That was, that was about. <laughs> that's 133. That's yeah, these are great. I do. I have those. I just. I was actually gonna rock them today. I thought. And I said, let me just see how my winter rides. Right. In my rain. This one, I'm just sure you don't have. Travis Scott Cactus 270s. You know, you I'll tell you something. I don't. Here's an interesting thing about. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know much about Travis Scott, mm. and so when I see these and I see a lot of people rocking them, I go, I need a little history behind the shoes that I rock. You know what I mean? I need a little bit of knowing what they are and who they're yeah. from, yeah. studying it and so on and so forth. Yeah, you just call me old, but that's all right. Nah. I'm, just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying you're good. You're good. I'm playing. So I don't know much about them. So when I see people hyped about them, I go, this is great, but. I don't know much about the guy. It's the kids, it's the audience. I want to have the history connected to it. Sure. He's doing his thing. I feel about something like this. Perfect with the shirt you got on right now. Look at these joints. Perfect with the shirt. to me about the union. Okay, so this is a company from Los Angeles, correct? See, I start to learn some things. I try. They got a lot of good collaborations. So this is a this is a store that's based out of Los Angeles. Yes, it's right actually right down the street, like off of La Brea, right? La Brea on La Brea. Okay, okay. So cool. These are cool. We'll keep looking though. Keep going, man. Keep going. See what's going on. I gotta look out for people. Pretty shoe right there. I'm surprised you don't got those. This not in your closet right now. Then what are you doing? What are you doing? It has to be, man. Went ahead and did it, did you? Those are hard. That's probably one of my favorite uh, shoes that dropped uh, shoe, last year. This is shoe. fire. These are cool. I dig these. What, what are we so rocking? How much are these? These are 450. Okay. But for Omar Navarro, I'm sure that's nothing because that's like. You just go to the casino you, real quick. You had Marty uh, Lonnie a lot more than that. <laughs> just because I play one yeah. on TV. You know what I'm saying? No, but these are these are kind of fly. All right, let's put those aside. Let's put those whoa, 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 whoa. What was your best thing yeah, about uh, being a, a big role in Old Shark? What was your, the, probably the, maybe your favorite scene or like maybe the best part of the, the, the cast or stuff? Thank you for asking me that. I, I always I always jump at the opportunity to answer that question. I was able to play a stereotypical role on stereotypical. Mm -hmm. I was able to take a role that everybody's expecting to be one side one color, one way that we all know. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna make this guy a human being. I'm gonna make this guy the kind of guy that if you met him waiting for a plane at LAX and mm -hmm. you had a beer next to him, he'd just be a regular guy with a business who owns a fa who has a family, who has a business he has to run, he does what he has to do. He's the kindest, sweetest, gentlest guy. Mm -hmm. It's not until you get home and you throw on the news, you go, oh shit, that's the guy. The guy. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to just do that. And so for me, my favorite part of doing it was taking this stereotypical role that I had pushed aside too, mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. I had said no to this kind of role a lot. Mm -hmm. At the expense of my own belly, like at the expense of eating and getting paid and working, I just was like, I'm not gonna do it. If this one came along, the universe was saying, you're not getting what you want, Felix, so you might as well take what they're giving you. And I was like, okay, I'll humbly take it. But when I saw it, I was like, all right, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. I gotta make them human. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. No matter what it is we do, we're human. And then the rest of that came out of it. So, so that for me was my favorite thing, was to always just bring him down to a regular dude, just a normal guy. Who happens to be the biggest drug lord? I mean, I come. I gotta say hello. How are you, brother? Good to see you, man. Fantastic. I can't complain. It's a pleasure having you here, brother. Me and him binge that show all the time, man. He used to binge that joint, go. And then, yeah, you know what I mean? Just doing that and being able to bring him down to a level that everybody understood him. And who's probably your favorite person to work with on, uh, on set? It might be a tough set. question, but no, no, it isn't. They're all they're all fantastic. I, you know, you guys watch the show, you'll see that each each character has a kind of specific storyline. Mm -hmm. So most of my storyline revolved around Wendy and Marty. Marty, but Marty, yeah. Marty Bird. <laughs> but the uh, the joy that I had in working with Laura Linney, who allowed for me to do more than just be again a stereotypical person who was scary or threatening. She allowed. She's such a. She. We come from the theater. Mm -hmm. We both do plays. Yeah. And we come from the board. We call it the boards, because the wooden planks on the stage. And she just allowed me to do it 
the way that I wanted to do it and accepted it and let it happen in a way that just became natural. The interest, the potential love affair, the potential, everything that was there was all because she opened up and was like, bring it. Whatever That's you want great. to do, you do. So for me, Laura, I just got off the phone with her a couple of weeks ago. We were sending messages to each other saying happy Thanksgiving. That's and you know, Yeah, so. Yeah, y'all really stay, y'all stay close outside of like acting, or y'all keep we in touch did. and stuff we, like that. We, well, we were bubbled in a way, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because we we were shooting it during the pandemic. Oh yeah. And they asked me to go out and be there and live there. It wasn't like it was uh, a situation where uh, I could fly back and forth, which is what I was doing when I first started doing the show. Is that I could go back and forth. I go and then also I have an apartment in New York, so it was easier for me to go from Georgia to New York back to Georgia. But the. Uh, for this last season, they were like, we're going to be here, you're going to be here, you're going to be in all of it, so you might as well settle down and get in. So we sort of sequestered ourselves, mm-hmm. and that allowed for us to also be connected. You know, we bubbled, we bubbled, so that was cool. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> a lot better than Marty's pan from Cryptocurrency. Oh, look at like these! Those are hard, the Stussy Clouds. I used to, you know I used to skateboard. Okay. As a kid, I was a skater in New York, and we used to always wear Stussy stuff. Okay, we called it Stussy. When yeah, we I still little. call it Stussy. Yeah, right? but we, but these... Actually, comment down below. Do you say Stussy or do you say Stussy? A lot of people... Yeah, I accent. used to say Stussy when I used to skate in that. He was like, hitting for only 150. Oh, you, that's a wait, steal, man. Like these two as well. Wait, what are those? You actually like the white joints? You got a little cream feel to them. Mm-hmm. These are hard. So you don't have those in your closet, mm-hmm. we can tell. I do we not. Can tell. I do not. So that's only 180? Not bad. All right, I'm taking these two. Yeah. Let's do that. Shout out to Stussy. So it's like those is hard. As I'm talking, you know what I mean. We got some hey, stuff. Hey, Jim, you've been doing this for a decade. Stop playing <laughs> with you. I like those. I just say, <laughs> look at you. you know what what mean? Mean? He went pop. I guess. You know what I mean? I, I think we'll like check myself. So like, I see if I'm bleeding. Hang on. No, this is beautiful. Fear five, <laughs> gray yeah. shoes. What's it going for now? I know they're Fear fives are going for like 500 now. Yeah. That's a gray shoe. That's a beautiful shoe. Fear five. I'm gonna keep my eye on yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep that in the tattoo. We'll keep that in the tattoo. These are the Ama Menye Jordan 2s. Yeah. Let's stick with this stuff. No problem. Bro, let's, let's go, go through this. Yeah, yeah, let's go through let, that. Let, let's head out yes. to the storefront. We gotta get, we gotta, we gotta get uh, my boy on the basketball oh, yeah, jersey. We, we gotta get my boy on my department. Give him a chance to at least get one, one pair of free on the house. He usually doesn't play games like this. So, so out, of, out of these four, what's your favorite shoe that caught your eyes the most? Yeah, he, he turned his head when he saw these. So I'm gonna give you a chance to win these for free. You gotta make two free throws in a row, though. Can you, can you, you think you can do that? No. Where there's a will, there's a way, friend. Where there's a will, there's a way. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> give one pack a shot, though. One pack of shot. I can show you. It's, 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 I can show you. It's, uh, it's actually possible. He's taking the fuck out the way. He's taking the fuck out the way. It's possible. It's possible. Remember, I've been watching y'all videos. The videos. I've seen so many people hit the ceiling because they do a little art. All right, here's my practice shot. Okay. All right. So now the shoes. Here it is. Feet don't fail me now. There you go. I tried, I tried. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, dude, I, I mean, I, I think it's crazy. You guys are yeah, doing a great job. You're doing all this fun stuff and, and, and keeping the streets sort of active and having the foot traffic come up. It's nice to be with these kids and all the kids are hanging out. You know, for sure. It's a great little environment. That's our goal because we don't want to just be like a one stop shower. People just come for shoes and leave. You want to give people an experience, and that's how you make your brand different than any of your competitors. Yeah. That's the goal. So yeah, that appreciate sense. that, me coming from you and you watching our videos. It means a lot. That's kind of how we connected last time when you called up, yeah? Yeah, I enjoy it. I love doing it. So. That's cool. So, out of these four, which ones do you like the, uh, that you want to take home? Let's do these three. I'll leave those. Double speed. Grab these for you. I'm going to still bless you this on the house just because I'm a massive, huge uh, fan. That's, you you that's got killing it. it. No, you know, I got to look out for you, man. Appreciate you. Wish you nothing but the, uh, but the best. Thank you, man. Put I will. Netflix I will. On his back. You like put Netflix on your back. Literally, put all the Netflix like, on your shoulders, right? Just carrying shit. 
Yeah, no, there was a, well, I gotta tell you though, and every single person who's worked on the show have, will have said this at some point in an interview somewhere. We did have, a, and we talked about this, we had a sequestered audience. We had people who were stuck at home, with nothing to do, they were told they couldn't go outside because everybody was dying if they went outside. So they stayed at home, literally, and so they were able to, so what do we do when we're home? We're gonna sit, we're gonna watch, and then that's when we launched that last season. So it's kind of like we had everybody on lock, literally. Yeah, it was a nice little, you know, storm. The storyline is already good, the show is yeah. actually dope, so. And that's the other thing too. People, we say that humbly and they always humbly respond that, yeah, but we also had a lot to choose from and we chose your show and, and it, it has not gone unnoticed on any of us. That's not one member of the cast. Show, the top 10 shows like, ever, probably. Super blessed for having watched, uh, having people watch the show. Before yeah, yeah, we yeah. end this video, any that's words of advice for any up and coming um, actor out there, actress? You know, Shakespeare once wrote, to thine own self be true. And what he meant by that is that you are your only critic. You are your only support. You are your only coach. So if you can't find within you the strength to continue to do what you do humbly and consistently, then you might not ever want to be doing it. So to thine own self be true. You stick to what you want. Your heart's going to always tell you. Your heart will always tell you what to do. The cult. You heard it. Call yeah, yeah, yeah. my boy on that, man. Right? Yeah, yeah. Legend. Appreciate you so, pulling out. Wish you nothing but the best with everything you got going on. Thank you, thank you. Good luck with everything, man. Thanks, man. So everyone Appreciate out there, smack the like button, comment down below, and thank you for kicking it with a cool. Peace. Peace.